Hey guys, what's up? Um, I realized it's been a while since uh, my last video, so um, I finally got something to share. Uh, not that I didn't before, I was just really busy with work and it got, um, you know, kind of crazy and wasn't able to make a video or stuff like that. So um, I know I have something for sale, a potential trade type of deal. Um, and some mesh, and something I just strung up a couple days ago. Um, and I can't say enough about the pocket, I love it. Um, so first off, I'm going to lead in with that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll lead in with that. So I got an Evo 4 in a trade, and um, the pocket that was on it just didn't fit me. And I've been wanting to do a trad for quite a while, so I did. Um, I haven't done one of these in probably forever, um, but I just love how how nice the feel of a traditional pocket is for the ball, um, and you know you can have it shift down if you want. It'll move up. It can even almost be like a high pocket if you wanted to. But it's a nice five diamond trad, all one string. Um, my opinion, it looks pretty clean. Um, for not doing a traditional probably in uh, like six or seven years as far as this style I've done obviously I've done some of the custom ones but like um, my version of the heat pocket and stuff like that in the past but I haven't actually done one of these since probably high school and the last one I did came out horribly so um, I just like how this one comes out it's got the nice brown leathers I was gonna do all white for the clean look but I wanted to stick with uh, the classy, traditional, you know, brown, brown and white type of thing, and uh, I think it came out great. Yeah, that's pushed down a little bit because it's in there so loose. I'll have to tighten that up a little bit. But um, yeah, I got like a nice heavy nylon up here, which really prevents the lipping. It's in there so tightly that it's not going to uh, really come off of that plastic card so um, otherwise yeah it's pretty sweet and um, yeah next up I've got some furry mesh or berry mesh I'm not sure guys from uh, Salisbury area so maybe it's berry mesh but anyway it's another wax mesh um, I got I think I contacted him through Instagram but um, yeah, it's pretty nice. It, it doesn't flake really at all. Um, it's nice, flexible. Has kind of a, a softer type of feel. Not like full-blown soft mesh or like it's not to almost semi-hard, but it's not. It's not like super soft either. It's right in the middle, just like you know, most people like their wax mesh to be. And it stretches nice. Stretches easily. Now, so I'll check it out, uh, message him, find out, and then um, otherwise, on to what I have for sale, possibly a trade. I haven't decided yet, but um, basically, they are my Brian King 3 um, gloves. They were done for um, Cortland State, and I acquired them through a trade. So, there they are. You can tell they're Cortland. They got the C. They got the little dragon in them. Uh, Cortland is the Red Dragons, if you didn't know. They're a Division Three team. And, I mean, obviously there is a little bit of wear on, like, the decals, but are on, like, the painted-on lines that are on here. But it's no damage to the glove. It's just those are painted on. You can have that rub off while they're in your bag. I mean, that's that's not really a damage point so and then the palms still very well intact um, that looks like a hole but it's really not it's just part of it where the leather started coming up but it's easily repaired not a big deal and yeah all the pads everything are in place you know real comfortable you know real comfortable glove that I just they're a little tight for my feelings so um, I like more of the um, more of the STX or Warrior 
feel in their gloves. So, um, yeah, all leather. Not that, you know, sometimes when you get those gloves and, like, the palm gets really hard in them because of the leather. These aren't like that. They're very flexible, not hard in the least bit. Um, some of the coloring is because I've been using them for wall ball, and um, that's some of the titanium dust. You know, when you use titanium, it darkens your mitts. And then on to my potential, what I'm looking for, and a possible trade. Um, basically, I really, really love my uh, Surgeon 10. So after a little consideration, I've been trying to get another one um, in pretty much uh, equal trade value to my possibly trading an Evo X6 for Surgeon 10 because I just, I love the head. So um, I, I do like my X6, but um, if it came down to it, I think I'd rather have a Surgeon 10. So um, yeah, if you guys can hook that type of a, a deal up, um, let me know. I've been kind of scouring the uh, sideline swaps and some of the other trading sites to see if I can hook one up. But um, yeah, just let me know. And uh, if you need anything strong, again, you can just message me on here or um, through Facebook. I know a lot of the guys that follow me on here are also on Facebook. My business page on Facebook is Mad Lecturings and Sales. And uh, yeah, just message me through there. I have the app right on my phone where I can just get back to you real quick. So um, otherwise, I think that's it. But um, hopefully, you guys are having fun um, playing some ball ball and you know, having fun in school. Yeah, don't really miss that part. But um, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.